in this video I am going to show you one of the problem that you have with the Excel source and a destination. In this in this video we will be dealing with the Excel destination problem what happens and uh, in the next video I will go and show you some problems how you can solve using the, the Excel source. Now in this video I will show you how to deal with the Excel problem that is known as suppose if you import the data or transfer the data from the Excel from the any other OLEDB source of the flat file to the Excel what happens is first time if you see it it will add the data but the next time if you see it, it doesn't delete the previous data but it appends the data to the data that already exists. However, in most many circumstances we do not like that to happen. We want the old data to be wiped off and a new data should come up in that place. So this is how we are going to do it. Okay, let's start the new project when we go and start a new project let's name it as excel source uh, rename this package as excel source data uh, no uh, it is rather rename it as excel destination because this is this video we are going to do it to the excel destination so let's go and drag a data flow task here I just skip the naming part of it and let's create a new OLEDB connection to my Northwind database as you can see and then I double click it and take to go to the OLEDB source I connect this one to the table known as customers let's preview it so far so good okay now let's bring up the toolbar and just I'm going to bring the Excel destination here and I will show you what happens with the Excel destination now I am going to create go to the file I have data file click OK and I am going to create a new file, new sheet. So I am going to call it Excel Cust1. Click OK and let's go and select the Cust1. View the data. OK and let's do the mapping and now we can select ok and right now we are finished with the mapping and let's run the package as you can see the 91 rows were transformed I stop it I go to the Excel to check my data the custom one yes there is a data and they are up to 92 rows Let's close it. I'm going to rerun the package once more. So I rerun the package one more once more. I stop it. Now I again go to the Excel source of my the one. However, when I go and see, I see that after 92, 93 is again appended. This is the first row again going through, and the Excel has appended the data to the first one however 
I would not like this thing to happen in my Excel sheet. I would want it to replace it with the new data. So how do we do it? So just close it. Okay. Now let's go and create a new package and rename it to Excel destination to Excel destination to um, again let's bring the data for task and create overlay DVD connection again to the north end and let's double click it in this case I'm going to work a little bit differently but before I go further I'll just create the settings correctly let's say we had the customer and we have the column click OK let's bring the destination on the Excel destination and we are here with the Excel destination click it here I am going to select new again the same sheet okay I'm going to select new it's going to ask me create a table however this time cast to and I'm going to click OK before that thing I say click OK I'm just going to copy it click OK and I'm going to select the cast to in this thing and preview the data so for mapping is done I go click OK here now what happens is I do not want the data to be appended to the my Excel sheet so what's the solution so I go back to the data flow I bring in the execute SQL task here and I bring it here connect it because that this has to append first now I'll change this thing to the Excel connection is Excel connection manager what we have created here and a direct input and SQL statement and I'll just paste it this thing here but however let's go and do it here let me show you something here let me say it I want to remove the and find and replace paste space replace all as you can see all have disappeared and now I'm going to copy it I'm going to paste it but before I do go through I am going to say drop table cast 2 what basically happens is that First, it will drop that table and then it will create the table again so you will always have the fresh data and not the appended data into your Excel sheet click OK and parameter wrapping results nothing has to be done click OK in this task now the situation is exactly the same nothing has changed now let's go and see run the package now you see again that 91 rows has gone we go again again we go this time we will go to the cast 2 where we created the table cast 2 and as you can see cast 1 has a double data because we but in this case we are going to run it again and see whether the cast 2 has a double data or it has only the fresh one so let's run it 
once more and it has been successful let's go to the excel data and check it out whether our data is the same or we have more rows as you can see we have only 92 rows here this is how we can solve the problem of appending the data to the excel sheet now i will show you something one more that's known as excel source name it uh, excel source however well, many of you must be thinking how to select only few of the fields excel source from the excel sheet so let's go and do it let's take for example our same sheet as we have it here we are going to see the excel cast 2 we are going to select the customer name as you can see it here instead of we i'm going to type the select statement here select customer to simplify it, I will just select the three columns rather than many. As you can see, I'll just delete the rest from cast two. And once I've done that thing, I will can select the copy after selecting the copy it. Let's close the sheet, no need to do anything with it. Just in this case, I will take the need to drag the data flow task, double click it. We go to the tools, we go to the Excel source, Excel source. In this case, again, new row, the Excel, click OK. Instead, of, I will say select command, skill command. And let's see, see preview the data. See, the problem has got solved. And you can, I'll just bring the Excel union all and just connect it. Add a data grid as you can see. And click OK, click OK, and run it. And you can see that we have the four category, four field name from the Excel and not the whole Excel sheet getting trading transferred. That's all. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.